Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Benedetto, and I want to welcome you to this very short video where we're talking about, uh, it's part of a series that, we're, that I'm doing that's talking about uh, thyroid problems, thyroid function, uh, all aspects of thyroid metabolism, different thyroid conditions, things like that. What we're going to be talking about today on this brief video is iodine, dangers of iodine for certain patients, not for everybody. We'll get to it. Um, but here's what happens. Somebody gets diagnosed with a thyroid condition. They have thyroid symptoms. They may think they have a thyroid problem. They go to the health food store. Oh, you got an iodine or you have a, a hypothyroid problem. Take iodine. That's what you take for it. It'll help. Um, even a lot of physicians, even a lot of doctors. Oh, you have a thyroid problem. Take iodine. Um, here's the problem with iodine. And again, it's not for everybody. We'll get back to this. But here's one of the big problems with iodine. We've talked about on previous videos the number one cause of hypothyroidism in the United States is something called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. It's an autoimmune condition where your immune system attacks your thyroid. We'll come back to that in a second. When our thyroid makes thyroid hormones, okay, it takes a bunch of different raw materials, packages them together to make T3, T4, and make a thyroid hormone. When it does that, it uses an enzyme called TPO, or thyroid peroxidase, okay? Uses an enzyme to manufacture these hormones from the raw materials, put everything together, so that way we have thyroid hormones, okay? TPO, thyroid peroxidase. Iodine is very crucial in making and helping to, um, helping to produce that enzyme, thyroid peroxidase. So yes, iodine is very vital for thyroid function. It is crucial because it helps to make this TPO, okay, which we need to make thyroid hormones. Here's the problem. If you have Hashimoto's or if, if you have an autoimmune thyroid condition, your immune system, guess what it attacks? Guess what part of your thyroid physiology it attacks? You got it, TPO. So when we're measuring antibodies for patients in their blood to see if they have Hashimoto's, we look at, is my immune system making antibodies against TPO? Is it attacking TPO, thyroid peroxidase? And iodine helps to make TPO. So if we have this going on and we take iodine, it's going to stimulate the production of more TPO, which under normal circumstances is good, but if the TPO is what's being attacked and we make more of it, now the attack is going to increase, or it's going to get worse. It's going to become more severe. So it's like throwing gasoline on the fire. Now, obviously, if we're taking iodine supplementation, that's one source of, of a flare-up or what could be making our autoimmune condition worse. Another tricky thing to be careful about with patients, what I recommend, too, is your multivitamins. If you're taking multivitamins or other supplements or things like that, you have to check to see if they have iodine in them, because a lot of times they do. So now listen. It's not that I don't ever supplement patients with iodine. I do sometimes. It, sometimes it is appropriate. But the vast majority of patients who come into our office and they're either on it or have been told to try and take it, if this is, they've never, if this is what's going on, we could just be throwing gasoline on the fire. So take home points today for this video. If you have an autoimmune thyroid condition, which majority of patients in our country do, um, Iodine is not going to be the first line of defense. It's not going to be the first thing we do because it's going to stimulate the production of more TPO, thyroid peroxidase, which is exactly the enzyme that our immune system attacks. So it could cause actually more immune attacks or more severe immune attacks. Okay, it's like throwing gasoline on the fire. So again, these are things that need to be looked for. These are things that need to be checked majority of you out there, or the majority of patients that, that have these problems, this has never been dug into. Um, it needs to be because if this is what the problem, then most of the time iodine might not be appropriate. Thanks for uh, listening to this short video. If you have any questions, concerns, feel free to contact us. Hopefully we gave you a little bit of an education today about um, iodine and how it relates to thyroid function. Um, again, if you have any questions, we're here to help.